Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. It's a new week on FIFA Ultimate Team. That means Market Outlook. Yes, one of the last Market Outlook videos of the year. This game is almost done and over with. There's probably going to be one more after this, and that will be it for the Market Outlook videos on the Monday. So enjoy them while you can. If you're still grinding the game and still playing, FIFA 20, all right? But I'm going to talk about what's going on this week in terms of content, in terms of what we can expect. There's not a lot of things, so this video is probably not going to be very long. But again, it's all about the men you grind right now in this game. The upgrade packs, the cards that are in packs. And yo, can we talk about Champions League for a second today? GG's to Bayern for winning 1-0 Champions League uh, champions of the Champions League. UCL champions and EA was nice enough. I, th I think there's two things that went on here. EA was actually nice enough, or two, they just plain forgot that these cards, uh, you know, maybe they just wanted to say, hey, we're going to let, for the last showdown SBC of the year, we're going to let it go past the actual date of the game so you can see who wins and who will get upgraded. I don't even know. We might see these guys get upgraded tomorrow, or Alaba might be upgraded tomorrow to a 95 rated card, and his SBC still might be available. That would be a first to have a, a, a card that is put out in the game to have it be upgraded like when the SBC, before the SBC expires. That'd be kind of crazy. But again, uh, Bayern did win. So this Alaba is going to a 95 rated. Uh, GG's for EA to keep in that SBC out, I guess uh, is what you could say. We, get, we had a UCL halftime challenge as our content on Sunday. That was it. Saturday and Sunday, we literally had no content. Uh, I do not think that's going to continue through the week. I do think we are going to see a few things, all right? And again, we talk about this almost every single video relating to this promotion and what has not happened yet. But I think we have to see top transfer content and we have to see it very soon. And I hope it's good because, you know, if you look at a lot of this promo, um, you have FIFA 21 stuff, you have top transfer content, and then like, all of this other stuff as a part of this promo was related to the Champions League and Europa League. So now that that is all over, done, and dusted, I think they're really going to have to hammer this top transfer content if that is something that they're going to, like, you know, put some effort forth and put some effort into. We will see. Hopefully they do. Um, and I think this could possibly start even today on Monday. I would most expect this on, like, a Wednesday, though, um, on FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk about as well. Again... We've had a lot of upgrade packs that have been released in the past couple of days, right? With the 92 plus TOTS SF, with the 90 plus double, with the 90 plus upgrade. I think that today on Monday and probably three days this week, I would say, we're due more team of the season packs or more 90 plus, 89 plus. A lot of you guys are still like seriously wanting that 89 five rare players pack that would have a lot of um, des a lot of demand on this market. Uh, but as I'm looking at high rates right now, if there's something that if you're still trying to make some coins, there's not a lot of tradable supply coming onto the market. Today we had some supply. So again, if we look at, at a guy like Carrasco, this guy was 10k on the weekend. Uh, he's kind of just been dropping. And look, with the tradable supply of the SBC yesterday, he's down from 10,000 coins down to 6k where he is at right now and especially with squad battle rewards happening right now on a uh, Sunday evening uh, yeah that, those squad battle rewards literally came out a half an hour ago I would not be a, uh, a huge like against you guys uh, I would not be against you guys actually going on the market and, and even paying 6k for some of these 83s uh, literally as an investment like I might club stock a 6,000 coin 83 rated card just because I know it's almost you know, not guaranteed, but I think it is very likely that we see um, another SBC this week related to uh, like a 90 plus upgrade pack or a um, 89 double guaranteed or a 90 double guaranteed. You know, of course, everybody wants to talk and everybody wants to think, yo, where is that big pack? Where is the 89 five rare players pack? Is it going to come? I do think it comes. Yes. Uh, but I feel like we might get one of those tots upgrades first. Uh, like, you know, the 92 plus tots or the 90 plus tots, or maybe even a, another 90 upgrade. Um, and a lot of those SBCs require 83 or 82 rated squads. That's why you saw a lot of those go crazy high earlier this week. So I'm not going to sit here and bore you to death by just buying a, some 83s. Wow, these are cheap, man. Yo, if you're watching this video and 83s are still 6,000 coins, uh, like this Illuramendi card 
was definitely 10,000 coins earlier this weekend, right? For sure, he had to be. His max price range is 14K. Yeah, man, look at this. Just yesterday, literally on Saturday, this guy was 10,000 coins, right? 10,000 coins. Sunday and Saturday. Dude, he was 12K on Saturday, bro. 10,000 coins, 83s were. Now they're back down to six. So they're pretty low. Um, and I do expect more of those high rated upgrade pack SPCs to come out later this week. Looking around the rest of the market too, the tradable pack supply and the lack of SBCs are also providing for some cheap cards in the higher rated ranges, right? The higher rated ranges of the market. So we got 86s right now that are actually around under 20,000 coins, which is a lot lower than they were a couple days ago. The ones that I like most, if you're going to invest in some of the higher rated golds, um, I would say do not buy the special cards that are in packs right now. Buy the gold cards that are not. Last week, some of the 86s didn't really move at all, but the ones that were, like this Pionage card is in packs right now. Um, when there's an 84 rated SBC that came out for one of the upgrade packs, I forget who it was. This 86 Pionage, even though the SBC was 84 rated, this card, oh my gosh, dude, are you serious? 17K? 17K for Pionage, 14,000, yo. Dude, this guy, I literally sold Pionage at 30 thousand coins earlier last week 30k i sold this guy at last week with an 84 sb rated sbc that came out it is a fantastic time to get on fodder right now with squad battle rewards supplying the market people undercutting and stuff like that so definitely look at those and again the reason why i like the gold cards is people still like to buy these for the sbcs to complete and uh they're getting kind of cheap because nobody's thinking about them but they're still needed for the SBCs. And the gold cards like almost seemingly have less lower pack weight or less lower. They have a lower pack weight than some of these special cards do that have been re-released uh, back in two packs. But again, this is the page you want to go to on Footbin to check out all of these prices that are really low and really cheap. Cheapest players by rating. It is footbin.com backslash uh, basically right here. Go to footbin.com, cheapest players by rating. Look at a lot of these guys. Search them up on the market. Look for the golds, right? Rakitic, Pjanic, some of the cheapest there. Uh, Koulibaly at, you know, some of these really high rated, do you want to buy them? I don't know if I would, if I would go into anything higher than an 87 or an 88, unless we get the 89 plus SBC, that's the only thing that would really make those go up. A lot of your movements are going to be mostly in the 83 to 86 range, uh, with the SBCs that come out because those SBCs are like 84 rated. At least a lot of the upgrade packs we've had lately have been around that rating so that's something i guess you guys could look into if you're still looking to make coins maybe some of these like look at these 86s bro this is why i'm looking at 86s and pianich the dude is it says 21,000 coins i just bought him for 15k 14k on the market look where he was yesterday man he peaked at 26k 22k he was 30,000 coins on saturday uh he hit 35,000 coins uh earlier two weeks ago during sbc's uh, and, and was back again at 30k on Friday. So, you know, by the end of the week this week, I would definitely expect a guy like this to be back up at price. The only thing that would, of course, drop these cards back down even lower would be if EA somehow supply them more on the market or supply um, just if there's any more tradable packs that get released, which I don't think is super duper likely. I'm not, you know, thinking that that's going to happen. But I would expect probably today on Monday, uh, since we have the 92 plus TOTS SBC expiring, I would probably expect another SBC to come out uh, for a TOTS upgrade either today, uh, definitely on Tuesday or Wednesday, because I think by going the live section, these SBCs haven't technically expired yet because when they expire, they go away from here. Yeah, so um, the 92 plus TOTS actually expires today, and I think that will get re uh, replaced by either a 90 plus TOTS pack or another 92 plus TOTS guaranteed today, and then probably see more of these get replaced on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, again, I think we'll probably have three upgrade packs this week like we had last week. I think that's very, very possible. And I think that's honestly all that we get this week. Hopefully, we get some top transfer content. Again, I've been talking about like the Timo Werner action. Give me a, a Chelsea version of Timo Werner or a Chelsea version of Hakim Ziyech. Like that would be fantastic if, if we got something along those lines. I guess one thing we could talk about as well is uh, UCL cards. It still are pending upgrades. This Leon Goretzka, of course, is going to go to a 95 rated card. Um, after the game today, of course, they did win. So his price range right now is 450K. And he is a 400,000 coin card on the market as well as Kingsley Coman. 
scoring the only goal in the UCL um, match, the Champions League final yesterday. I think this guy's uh, probably 300K-ish, 200K. Uh, so he, he's going to be getting an upgrade to a 95 rated card as well. Uh, and of course, along with that, David Alaba is going to be going up to a 95. So of course, if you're building a, building a Bayern Munich squad, uh, some of the ca cards that you need, there is a UCL man of the match, Manuel Neuer, that is out in packs right now. And I'm pretty sure the guy is extinct, or he was. If he is, ooh, a little squad battle reward supply? How low is he going right now? Tell me he's like 100k. 106. This guy has been extinct at like 120 this entire time. So, um, you know what? I'm going to snatch this up. Send it to my club because this guy's probably going to be back again extinct tomorrow. Just as um, people put together some squads with Bayern Munich players. Or, you know, could we see a, an SBC for the Champions League winners? I don't really know if we do. We'll get the Coman uh, upgrade. We'll get the Goretzka upgrade. The Alaba upgrade. I don't think we'd get a separate Coman SBC unless they made like Kingsley Coman's uh, Road to the Final card available as like a man of the match item. But it's the same rating as his... Uh, as his um, road to the final. I don't know if they would do that. Just, I guess, something you can uh, think about in you know, EA Sports if you're watching. I mean, feel free, of course. Feel free to go ahead and do that if you'd wish. That'd be dope. Uh, so yeah, man, we'll be really interested to see what happens this week with the content. I think it's probably going to be a lot of just eh, you know, a lot of just eh content unless EA, of course, of course, spice it up and drop something sick. But again, it's the menu content grind. If you're doing upgrade packs, icon moments are out for two more weeks. De Bruyne's got nine days left to craft. And then, of course, you're hitting the 81s, the 80 pluses, and the 82 to 88s. Very grindable at this time. Uh, rares are probably very cheap right now. Again, with squad battle rewards, uh, this video is really a lot about squad battle rewards. Uh, but rares, yeah, look at the supply on rares, bro. They're getting, they're kind of cheap right now. So if you're trying to build some packs, this might be a decent time to do it as those cards are a bit cheaper on the market it's also weekend league sell-off so if there's any cards that you want to buy for your weekend league um i don't think that this next weekend is the last weekend league of the year i know aha there it is okay never mind this is the one that expires in six hours this is next weekend i think they're actually going to add another weekend league after this again as i said earlier last week i would be very surprised if they ended the weekend league this early because the promotion is still going and they have special weekend league rewards as a part of the preseason promo. So I don't think it's over just yet. I would expect Weekend League to happen for another two weeks, in my opinion, at least, maybe three, before it is shut down and before we're donezo on the Weekend League for FIFA 20. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. Probably some more upgrade SBCs. Hopefully, fingers crossed, good quality top transfer content. And uh, yeah, honestly, not too much going on, but it is what it is. Champions League is over. Some upgraded cards will be uh, receiving their upgrades. I don't think we've got the Diego Carlos upgrade yet for those that may be interested. He's still a 92 at the moment. Uh, he has not been pushed to a 93 at the time of this video, but he will be going to a 93 rated card. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.